singing kettle, read all about it. Stand up and shout it, learn about it. The singing kettle news. Yes, this was a real thing. Before we dissect it, let's recap the Singing Kettle TV shows. We have The Singing Kettle 1, 2 and 3 from 1990 to 1992, Singing Kettle Christmas Crackers from Christmas 92, Adventures in Kettleland in 93. In 1995, they starred in the six episode series The Singing Kettle News, which is what we have here. Right, so a while back I called the original TV shows mediocre with Adventures in Kettleland being the only good show. So how does Sing Kettle News rank? Let's find out. Wait. What the hell? Ugh. Okay, let's try that again. Adventures of Pinocchio, don't care. Borrowers, don't care. Barney's Great Adventure, really don't care. Polygram Video, whatever. Get on with it. One compliment I have to give the series is that it has probably the best theme song out of all the Singing Kettle TV shows. So why is it called the Singing Kettle News? Well, apparently Scylla, Artie, Gary and Jane run their own newspaper for the village of Kettle. That's original, not to mention about as random as Mario and Sonic appearing at the Olympic Games, but whatever. So they run their own newspaper and every day is a massive struggle to come up with the perfect front page story whilst enduring hassle from the newspaper editor known as Russell Spout. You know, like the spout of a kettle? Oh goodness, that's clever. Now, it's the singing kettle, so of course there's going to be song breaks during these episodes. They've got a serious career here, usually with a big time crunch, and yet they can always find time to sing a few kids' songs. Yeah, let's go with this. Thankfully for the group, interesting events always seem to happen outside their office. Events that actually inspire their front news stories. A bus breaks down, a new fitness regime, faulty traffic lights, a cake judging contest, a massive flood. Oh, no, 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 no more floods. Don't remind me. Don't fucking remind me. So that about sums up an episode of the Singing Kettle News. The group struggles to think up stories for the front page, something happens outside that piques their interest, they sing a song, they write a story for the front page based on whatever happens outside, a countdown begins, the team deposit their stories as well as Gary's illustrations in this giant kettle, because of course they do, they sing another song, they retrieve the complete newspaper from the aforementioned giant kettle by saying a certain rhyme, they marvel at the crap they've been able to write that day, and not a word is mentioned about them being fired for the incredibly irrelevant stories they published. Yeah, there are some silly bits here and there, but does that make the show a bad one? Yeah, probably not. As an adult that grew up with The Singing Kettle, I think it's an okay show. Not great, but it at least has a plot and tries something original. It's a weird concept, but they make it work. I still think Adventures in Kettleland was a better series, but hey, this one's original and the kids will probably enjoy it. I could end things now, but there was actually a sequel, Sing All About It, released in 1996. I won't cover this one because it's more or less the same. The only real difference is that there's only one song per episode and it's always sung at the end in front of the live audience. This series is not that good. Honestly, I think the series went a bit downhill when the audience aspect was introduced. How ironic. And actually, Sing All About It wasn't the last of it. The group returned for our third and fourth TV season, which was just called The Singing Kettle. Yeah, to keep it short, these last two seasons just flat out suck. They are bad. The charm from Singing Kettle News is all gone at this point. The whole newspaper concept has gone out the window. Now it's just the group backstage before a show where they spend five minutes trying to decide what song to sing during their show. That is about it. There are some shitty plot elements thrown in, but that's it. To me, the 25 year old, it feels like the singing kettle fared better as a stage show. The TV shows ranged from average and mediocre to just flat out awful most of the time. They really were the best musical group aimed at children in the UK. They just couldn't make it work on TV. Right, that's enough of that.
I doubt we'll be coming back to this anytime soon. Okay, what to do next? Oh uh, yeah.